Insulting Buhari is like abusing my father, Wike says. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys and compliments of the season to you guys. Thank you once again. Thank you so, so much for your massive support all through the year. Thank you for always um, coming back. We really appreciate your support. We say God bless you. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Naysom Wiki has just uh, made a comment, a remark that has um, sparked um, a lot of speculations. You know, Naysom Wiki is part of um, the People's Democratic Party. And as a matter of fact, he's part of the G5 governors, also known as the Integrity Governors. He's um, their leader. And um, the reason they formed this group is because of a demand that they've been placing on the party demanding that the national chairman Iocha Ayu should resign. Wike was um, part of the uh, presidential aspirants earlier on in the year, but we know that uh, Atiku finally um, won the tickets. And it was after that time, after that time that um, this crisis had been going on, it was after that time Wike started um, campaigning and um, demanding that Yocha Ayu should step down. He started it and we saw that um, other governors started seeing things from his side and um, they decided to queue behind him, the likes of um, Samuel Otom and the likes of um, Shei Makinde. And um, all this, why all of these have been going on, Aesom Wiki has been speaking, um, sometimes speculating that uh, he is not going to support um, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Sometimes he will come out to say, very soon, you will know my action, you will know the party I'm going to be supporting. So um, everyone has been looking forward to uh, Wiki's next move. And with regards to um, him being part of the opposition's party, we know that um, Nathan Wiki is someone that is seen as um, a no-nonsense governor. He's, he's bold. Yes, he's, he's a bold person. He speaks and when he wants to criticize or when he wants to say anything, he doesn't mind words. And um, right now, what he's saying is that uh, um, he has never insulted President Mohammed Buhari all through his political career and he wouldn't do that. And he's saying that the reason for him not doing that um, is because uh, Buhari... Uh, Probably the age, uh, the age factor here. We know Buhari's age. Buhari is older than him, obviously. So he's saying that insulting Buhari is like abusing his father. But we've seen uh, um, some occasions where Wiki has commended President Mohammed Buhari. There are occasions where he has criticized him. But anyway, he's just uh, 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 drawing a line, making the point um, very clear here. Is setting the record straight of um, his dealings and his relationship with President Mohammed Buhari, despite being part of the People's Democratic Party. I know recently a speculation has been going on that the G5 governors have reached an agreement with um, the All Progressive Congress. This is not the first time that um, they are having this meeting. There was one time a couple of months ago when Bola Tinubu was in the in the United Kingdom. The G5 governors came over to meet with him. And shockingly and surprisingly, um, I think the next day, Atiku Abubakar joined them. He raced down um, to the United Kingdom to join that round table. They were on a table. Even Atiku Abubakar made some promises. Uh, he asked Nason Wiki that, okay, tell me what you want and I'll see that I meet to all of them. Nason Wiki reiterated everything he wanted. But even after that meeting and everything, we can see that they are still on one spot. No um, resolve has um, come out of all of this. It's still been like a vicious circle. They've been going round and round. We can still see that these governors are still maintaining their point, their position that until Yocha Ayu resigns. And while all of these are going on, Nason Wiki has been inviting APC governors for commissioning. You know, there's a name he's called that... Uh, is the, the the commissioner governor, the one that's always commissioning projects, flyovers here and there. And he's been inviting a lot of um, APC governors. The one that sparked a lot of uh, reactions uh, recently was that of um, Babajide Sanwalu. Um, so, Wiki, what he's saying right now is that uh, he's trying to douse the, the speculation that he has not made any agreement with APC and why he won't... Uh, abuse president muhammad buhari politics is a game of interest and these politicians <laughs> uh we we can never really trust them because personal interest um sometimes is at the center of everything they do 
that is why you see them moving from one party to another. If it doesn't have to do with personal interest, they wouldn't move. But although we care is one governor that has not moved party, is not moved party. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe. River State Governor Nason Wiki has rubbished claims that he insults President Muhammad Buhari, adding that the letter is like a father to him. Governor Wiki made this revelation while speaking at the construction of a Mecca Igbo Eche Road in Rivers on Friday upon his return from London. In his words, I've never insulted Buhari, I only criticize him. Insulting Buhari is like insulting my father. The embattled governor also denied any, having any deal with Bola Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC. He also alleged that Atiko Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, had been having meetings with some APC governors, but the media had refused to publish that. Wiki and his G5 friends, aka the Integrity Group, Sheima Kinde Oyo, Samuel Otom Benwe, Ifan Yogwai Enugu, and Okezi Ikbezu Abia arrived in Potakot, the state capital, on Friday. The integrity group had jetted to the United Kingdom over what may have been described as a strategic meeting on Wednesday, December 28. This followed the uncertainty surrounding the choice of their preferred presidential candidate for the 2023 presidential elections. As the election draws near, its allegations upon allegations, um, claims and counterclaims, Wiki is reacting to one that says he insults President Mohamed Buhari and uh, he had uh, himself and the G5 governors, they've had an agreement, they've had a pact. But Wiki is also claiming here that Atiku Abubakar himself has been having meetings with the APC presidential candidate, but the media doesn't put that in the public, that that is not covered. So those are the kind of meetings that uh, they refer to as closed-door meetings, that um, the public don't see that. But they are speculating right now that um, he's had some agreement with the All Progressive Congress. But what we do know is that um, nothing that is hidden will forever remain hidden. Nothing that is hidden if... Either of them is having any pact or any dealing with the APC. It will definitely come out. Well, guys, um, let's hear your own thoughts. Um, leave us your take on what is going on right now. Um, we know Atiku is desperate. He wants to become president because this is like his last try. If he doesn't get it this time around, that's it for him. He's one of the politicians who has um, contested in virtually every election. And he's doing everything possible to see that um, um, he becomes president this time. On the other hand, Wiki is standing his ground that it won't happen. Another Northern Nan will not rule them. At the same time, having another national chairman. Leave us your thoughts, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.